Hey everyone, today we're diving into a quick comparison of two popular data visualization tools, Grafana and Metabase. Let's break down what they are and see which one suits your needs best. First up, we have Grafana. It's an open source platform built for monitoring and visualizing time series data. Think system metrics like CPU, memory, or IoT data. Grafana shines with its highly customizable dashboard supporting tons of data sources like Prometheus, InfluxDB, and MySQL. It's got a powerful query editor and robust alerting features, making it ideal for technical users who need real-time insights. Next, we have Metabase. This open source business intelligence tool is all about simplicity, letting you create dashboards and run queries without knowing SQL. Metabase connects to databases like PostgreSQL and Salesforce, offering a user-friendly interface with predefined visualizations. It's perfect for quick data exploration and sharing insights with teams. So how do they stack up? Let's compare. Grafana is a beast for time series data and complex monitoring. It supports a wide range of data sources and offers deep customization, but it has a steep learning curve. Metabase, on the other hand, is super intuitive, great for non-technical users, and excels at quick business analytics. However, it's less flexible for advanced analytics or custom data sources. For collaboration, Metabase makes sharing dashboards easy, while Grafana lacks built-in collaboration tools. Security-wise, both are solid, but Grafana's enterprise version offers more advanced access controls. So, which one wins? If you're in IT, DevOps, or need real-time monitoring of systems, go with Grafana. It's powerful and flexible. But if you're a business user looking for simple, fast insights without coding, Metabase is your pick. Choose based on your team's skills and goals. That's it for today, guys. Drop a comment if you use Grafana or Metabase, and let us know your favorite. Like and subscribe for more tech breakdowns, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.